Hello everyone, today we're gonna to be checking out a mall known as Brass Mill Center in Waterbury, Connecticut. Now, this mall, it's somewhere between live and dead. We're gonna find out just how alive or dead it is. Now, it was recently sold to Kohan investors. They're not known for keeping their malls alive for too long, uh, so that's not a good sign for this mall. But something interesting about this mall that I really wanna go see is that this mall sort of has like a clock and clockwork theme all throughout it. Um, it's very rare to see any mall with any sort of like visual motif in it any longer. So this mall still kind of has one. It was built in the late 90s and that was kind of a time period where you saw things like that. So I want to go check out this mall and I want to get a good look at that sort of stuff. So come with me. Yeah, so here we have the closed Macy's and the closed Sears. So there's a JCPenney and a Burlington, and I guess Shoppers World still open here. So the tile floor on the center court is shaped like a giant clock with the gears and everything. And the reason why is that the town of Waterbury used to be um, have a big brass industry in it and there were a lot of like watchmaking and clock making businesses here. Um, unfortunately that industry has kind of uh, gone belly up, but they kind of use that for the theming of this mall, which I think is really awesome. And like right here we can see another gear with like the little planner on top of it. So as I move from one end of the mall to the other on the bottom floor, this end close to where the Sears was closed down, we can see a lot of vacant stores. And, and just look at this. Isn't that awesome? Just the clockwork theming all throughout the mall. But yeah, it's, it's pretty quiet over on this end. So it looks like they put some historical pictures in the empty front of this store. Imagine trying to film a mall with a camera like that. And what's behind here? You see anything? Oh, yeah. Look at that. So here in this vacant store, they have this little scene set up here. I don't know what this is. Is this for like an escape room or something? It's uh, strange. So this mall has these fantastic murals up here on the ceiling. Just look at that. I love malls that include art in their design. You don't see it very much anymore. Everything's just kind of plain and whitewashed. So this mall has a number of murals like this one here. And I want to show you them all, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, so I'm about in the center of the mall on the first floor, uh, top floor I should say. And it looks like there's um, a lot of vacancies. And it looks like it's a lot of um, smaller businesses, independent businesses, the national chains here. What went on in here? My goodness. What a mess. Oh, this was a uh, tattoo studio? I don't know if I'd get a tattoo at the mall. They put this little mock-up in this empty storefront right here. I think that's pretty funny. Actually, it looks pretty good. Okay, so I just noticed the mall has these little brass plaques in the tile floor. I wonder how many of those I've missed so far. I'm gonna have to go keep my eyes peeled for those.
Okay, so we have a very large closed off H&M right here. And let's take a peek inside. Oh, that's a big one. It's even got an escalator to a second floor. And that sucks that this space is empty for them all. Look up here at this fantastic mural with the daisy and the gear and like the brass buttons and the moon over there. That's just a really beautiful image. Um, very kind of 90s surreal vaporwave type vibe from that. Here we have another clockwork mural. And notice that cool, uh, was that a hornbill bird on the chain right there? I really like that. And just look at this mural with the vines and the flowers. I love these so much. That's actually the main reason I came here. Get a good look at that. And so here we have a closed restaurant and this was an olive garden. Can we see in? I think we can see in. No more breadsticks. No more unlimited pasta. Okay, so we have escalators up to the Regal Cinema, which takes up the entire third floor. And I don't, I don't know if it's just closed right now, but I don't think I can go up there. But look at these cool neon light fixtures they have here. So I'm not sure what this was. Maybe a, some kind of food place. Let me poke my camera down here and see what we can see. This is an interesting looking store right here. I don't know what it is. It's got some cool colors and features to it. And isn't this mural lovely right here with the, the pink sky behind it? And we have this mural for the food court, sort of a diner scene. So here in the food court, they have these really cool clockwork gears suspended from the ceiling. They even have these springs right here. You know, you don't see malls going to the effort including things like that anymore. So seeing that, it's really awesome. And so this is the closed Sears, and they've put a mural here where they have it walled off. Very colorful, very cool. More of a modern style than the other ones throughout the mall. Oh, and here's something you almost never see anymore. A payphone, and it's on a, a brass colored panel, which is fitting. Let's see if they still work. No dial tone, but they're still here. That's pretty amazing. Uh, and we have a little mall arcade. You know I gotta go in here. You know I love arcades. You know I love mall arcades. That is quite an elaborate prize machine. I don't think I've ever seen one like that before. And I've never seen one like this before either. Interesting. Oh, look at this. Spider Stompin' Deluxe. 
That is so cool. We have Terminator Salvation. Look at that great neon. So now that's from a store. I don't remember which store exactly, but I've seen that before. I want to say it's from Spencer's, but I could be wrong. If you happen to know, please let me know. We have Ice Ball, which is a ski ball alternative, which has great colors on the machine. And what is this? Simpsons Kooky Carnival? I've never seen that. You know, I say I've never seen these before. It seems like every time I go into an arcade, I always see something new. There's just so much variety to arcade games. Um, there's just been so many throughout the years. I know people always want to kill me when I say I've never seen something. They're like, what, you've never seen that? Well, no, I haven't been to every arcade in the world. But I love them, and I love showing you them, so I, I hope you enjoy it. All right, let's take a walk around the outside of the mall, check out some of the external features of this mall. And here we have the exterior of the JCPenney, and I have never seen one with the red brick design like that. That's really beautiful. And right here we have the closed Macy's, and it looks like they have it papered off so I can't see inside. But we do have an army of pigeons holding vigil right up top there. So this was the Sears. And I've seen a number of Sears with this sort of design to it. I, I call them like Art Deco Sears because it's got like this little tower and it's, you know, it's, it's kind of an Art Deco style. And we have these uh, light panels here. I don't know what they would have had here. They almost look like something you'd have for a movie poster. I'm not sure what Sears would be putting here. Some kind of signage, I would assume. And then let's take a walk over to the door and see if we can get a peek inside. Wasn't able to get any sort of look inside inside the mall because it's all walled off. Uh, it's too dark for me to see anything. Okay, let's see if we can see anything on this side of the Sears. Maybe? I hope so. So it is really dark. But yeah, you can see inside there. That is eerie. And let's look in the merchandise pickup side. Yeah, it looks like a little garage area back there. So, what a cool mall. Um, I just, I love the art style, the theming, everything they had on it, all the clockwork stuff, all the cool tile, the artwork. Really cool stuff. You just, you don't see malls doing that anymore. You don't see any store really doing that anymore. Everything is just very basic and bland. So seeing this, it was just really cool. And I really enjoyed that. Um, mall is definitely showing signs of a struggle. I would def I would not say it's a dead mall yet, but it's certainly dying. Um, having Kohan owning it probably isn't going to help it much, um, but I'm glad I was able to visit it. I'm glad I was able to document some of the cool features of it and i hope you had fun coming with me on this trip so thank you for watching